Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how you can convert your PlayStation 2 games from 7-zip into GZ format. Uh, this is a request from one of my patrons, so I want to thank you for the request. And I'm going to get this video out there. It's going to be nice and easy. Uh, we're just going to download a small little batch file, and it was created by Norfair. So my hat's off to you, Norfair. Thank you very much for the batch file. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and it's going to take you to download a very small zip file, it's about 200 kilobytes and it's the ps 27 zip to gzzip Once we have this little file just right click on it, extract here and that's going to give us 7-zip.exe, 7-zip to gz.bat. So we want to take those two files, you can cut or copy, I'm going to cut and paste it where your 7-zip games are. So for this video I'm just doing Big Mother Truckers 2 dot 7-zip. Now before we start I'm gonna recommend that you copy and paste the games that you want um, to convert and the reason why I recommend that is if something goes wrong and somehow it deletes your game and you only have one copy of that game you have a backup and I'm very very big on having a backup especially when you're doing stuff like this so it's uh, just just be forewarned um, but I don't see any many issues uh, but if you do have an issue at least you'll have your backup of your game so what we want to do here is just make sure that we have it in the same folder as our 7-zip games and you could do multiple games if you want I'm just doing one um, for this particular tutorial and we're just gonna run the bat file 7-zip to gz.bat and it's going to start here so basically in the beginning what it's doing is extracting you'll see here now we have two more folders we have temp and done and it's extracting the ISO file from my 7-zip file you can see my 7-zip file is gone it's actually in the temp folder right now this program or this batch file sorry has moved it into the temp folder so it's extracting the ISO file from the 7-zip file and I'm gonna let it run through while it does that um, when it's rebuilding the GZ file I'm just gonna pause the video and then I'll come back when it's near completion that way you guys don't have to sit here and watch the entire process um, but I, I just wanted you to see what's going on in the bat file make this a little larger there we go So dependent on the speed of your computer uh, as well as how many games you're doing and how large the game files are um, is, is dependent on how long it's going to take to complete everything. So I have done this with, with multiple, multiple games um, and to be honest it took a long time but we're talking the entire PS2 library. So. It, it does take a long time and my laptop's not the greatest so I'm, I'm sure if I had a better PC it would have went a little quicker but this did it automatically for me so I'll let it finish up everything is okay it says and now it's building the .gz file so creating archive big mother truck is 2 USA .gz it's creating it so this part does take a little bit uh, longer so you can see that the ISO file is 3.363 uh, gigs. Well, it's 3363 megabytes, but it's just over 3 gigs. So I'm going to pause the video now, and then I will come back when we are near completion. Okay, so we're back. It's at 97%. Um, shouldn't be too much longer. But everything has been going smoothly. No issues at all, and it's automatically done everything. Uh, I haven't touched it. I've just been waiting for it to get a little bit closer to the end so I can start the video again for you guys. Uh, but this is really great. So make sure that, you know, if, if you see the post by Norfair or anything like that, or you see him online, just, just give him a big thumbs up. Thanks a lot because this is a really great batch file and uh, it's very helpful for for converting your games.
So there you go. So automatically it deletes your temp folder, deletes your done folder, and gives you the GZ file you're looking for. So now I'm going to take my GZ file, cut, and we're going to make sure it worked. So I'm just sticking it into my uh, PS2 Classic Edition. There we go. And I'm going to launch it up. I'll just skip the intro here. Oh, Dragon Quest is missing the artwork. <laughs> there we go. Big Mother Truckers 2. So this is going to take a little bit to launch, and that's just because I don't have the temp file that comes with having GZ files built yet. But it's only on first boot. After that, it'll boot nearly instantly. But I just want to make sure that my 7-zip, which had an ISO in it, converted to .gz perfectly and it's going to work in PCSX2. It's not too large of a game so hopefully it doesn't take too long to boot up here. And there we go. Working perfectly. So that's it guys. Uh, that is how to convert your PlayStation 2 7-zip games into .gz format. Stay tuned uh, later today. I'm going to have another video on how you can directly, if you have ISO PS2 games, so we can convert directly from ISO to GZ fo uh, format, and I'm going to be showing you guys that coming up real soon. So as usual, I really appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.